It all started three months ago in our home in a small town in California. My husband had died suddenly six months previously, and I was working at a local bank, trying to support the family. While I was working, the kids all pitched in and ran the house. Mom, I want to talk to you about some new stock I've been researching. Not now, honey. I'm trying to get these bills paid. It has fantastic growth potential with very little downside risk. All I need is a little capital, Mom, and I can make you a very wealthy woman. Danny, I'd be very happy if we just had enough to pay this bill for peanut butter. It looks like the national debt. I'm worried about you, Mom. You're too old to be working. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You've just made my day. <laughs> well, when do we get to see this work of art that rocketed you to fame? Do you really want to see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess you'll see it sooner or later. Right, Mom, let her rip. <laughs> think? Oh, it's, it, it's certainly a painting, all right. Yeah, it sure is. You don't like it. Well, I think it'd be easier to decide if we liked it if we knew what it was. It's obvious. It's a traffic jam in rush hour. It's a bowl of fruit. Oh, I almost took that apple for a uh, taillight. <laughs> it really doesn't look much like a bowl of fruit to me. Well, it doesn't to me either. But according to Mr. Bernard, an artist paints what he feels, not necessarily what he sees. And he told me I touched the soul of the fruit. Our next model is Mrs. Shirley Partridge. Shirley is wearing a casual evening wear ensemble, a demure navy suede midi coat with matching boots and cap. In startling contrast to this shy cover-up, Shirley is wearing shocking pink hot pants. <gasps> Very proud of you. Bernie, there's something I have to tell you. Shirley. Bernie, please let me finish. Shirley, let me just say one thing and then you can talk. I can't marry you. Okay, now. <laughs> what? I just can't. I I've thought about it a lot. I've paced the corridors from geriatrics to pediatrics. <laughs> I guess I'm just not ready for the responsibility. I've been a swinging bachelor too long. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Time is a great healer. Bernie, it's all right, really. I understand. <sighs> Good. Uh, well, what did you want to tell me? Tell you. Oh, uh, yes, uh... Well, uh, my, my throat has, has been feeling sore lately. Wait here. I'll get my magic bag. I'm having trouble moving my mouth. Don't worry about it. It's perfectly normal. How can I sing if I can't move my mouth? Look, just fake oh. it, okay? Why are you feeling your knee? I think they're locked. Good. That'll stop you from falling if you pass out. Don't worry, Mom. We'll all be here to help you. Sure. You don't have to worry about a thing. Aren't you kids nervous at all? No. Why should we be nervous? We're terrific. <laughs> all right. Places, everyone. We're ready to go. Come on. Come on, Mom. It's big time. We're going to do great. Honest, it's going to be fantastic. <sighs> Nothing to worry about. Just now relax, up. Mom. But just remember, our whole future depends on these next few minutes. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Caesar's Palace takes great pride in presenting America's sensational new recording group, The Partridge Family. Let's write a dream.
Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I suppose you're, you're wondering why you've been invited here to watch the staring contest. I, uh, I'll have to let you in on a little secret. Uh, this is our very first public performance, and I'm afraid my, my children are slightly overwhelmed. Why me? Uh, if you'll excuse me, I, I think we ought to have a family conference. <laughs> Danny! Danny! Danny, it's me. Remember me? Your mother. Uh, doesn't the name ring a bell? Danny! Oh, Keith. Oh, Keith, Keith, speak to me. Oh, oh, Chris. Chris. Chris, you know it's rude to stare in public. I, I haven't seen all of you so quiet that you tried to set fire to the treehouse. <laughs> must have a lot of relatives here in Paris. Yeah, they must be relatives. She's too old to have fans. Hey, 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 where are you going? There's an audience out there that wants a number from you. You just can't split. Who would want a middle-aged lady messing around in their thing? Who knows? But whatever it is they're screaming for, it's my duty to give it to them. I love those kids. Sure you do. Why to go on? Yeah. Tell you what I'll do. Let's negotiate. Look, you can't do this to me. I'll let you two settle the details. I think I'll join my family. Oh, Charlie, 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 go up. Notre Mayor. Our mother. You or something like that. Sorry to see you leave. Let's stay in touch with each other this time. I'd like that. I'll be based in San Francisco. It's a beautiful city. Maybe we could see it together some weekends. I'd like that too. <sighs> Bye, Shirley. Bye, Chuck. You know something? It really has been like old times. New Partridge Room. So named because it's occupied by my own dear son, an unadopted child, Daniel Partridge. I know I act like a dummy sometimes. This time I outdid myself. I'm sorry I didn't take your word. I'll let you in on a little secret if you promise to keep it to yourself. What? We never quite outgrow making mistakes. Yeah, but two at once. Well, one was thinking you were adopted. What was the other? Well, even if you had adopted me, I shouldn't have felt so upset. I mean, all those other kids you could have picked from, and you picked me. Well, that should have made me feel pretty special. I sure am glad to hear you say that. Hey, Mom. Thank you very much. Well, I, I guess you're... You're all wondering why I look this way. It's a good question. It's a... It is a good question. It's... It's a question that deserves an answer. And, uh... I think Mom's in a spot. Good thinking. I... I wish I... I... I wish I could... Uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I think it might be a little easier for, for me to explain. You see, we're a very close family. That's not to say that we don't have arguments, because we do. But we love each other very much. And that keeps us together through thick and thin. And believe me, today it was through thick. Um. I'd like you to meet the, the rest of my family. Lori, Danny, Chris.
Chris and Tracy. We just wanted you to know that as far as we're concerned, you couldn't have made a finer choice for Mother of the Year. She's a great, great lady.